wife and I have 37 acres of, of a uh, oak restoration project that we've been working on for years and years. And uh, we harvested a lot of the uh, timbers from this place to free up the oaks and we're using that timber to build a timber frame house. And we wanted it to be, uh, you know, not necessarily as green, but as green as possible to try to uh, utilize local resources. And so our trees are going into the house. And the fast wall product is out of Paloma. And uh, we were fascinated by it's made from recycled products. Uh, it has a lot of uh, nice features. It's R25 wall. And uh, it's a do-it-yourself option. Uh, of course, it's not as simple as that. It's nice to see the blocks in the store and go, wow, that's a great idea. But implementation is a lot of work. But I'm sure that when it's all over and done, we'll be happy. Well, one of the prop problems with the fast wall was, you know, we have to get it all water sealed. I mean, any basement, you'd have to water seal it. But this is specifically has a challenge because it's a very porous product. And so we decided that uh, hand troweling would be a tedious, tedious process. And um, our uh, contractor, Robert Sattel, uh, known as Beto, uh, mentioned your product as a solution and what was interesting it was made in Eugene which was like wow that, that's even better and uh, so he picked one of those up our only uh, glitch was it was hard to find an air compressor that delivered what you said minimum seven we found a you know this one's 13 CFM and but I had to go to Salem to pick it up so uh, once we had that uh, you know, then it was free sailing. So we have, I don't know how many linear, it's probably 2,000 uh, square feet of wall that we're processing. And we'll be done here shortly. Uh, it's on day two. We started yesterday about one o'clock. And uh, you know, a lot of it was just set up, getting everything in place and figuring out our mix and all that kind of stuff. And putting up plastic to protect it because yesterday was very hot. So, uh, yeah, very impressive that uh, we're able to stucco that much wall uh, and we're totally green. We don't know what we're doing, but we seem to know what we're doing now. So now we're experts. Now that we've done one house. So, yeah, it's a great uh, tool that uh, unfortunately, you know, they, we couldn't come up with any other solution that would have uh, done it in this kind of time frame. And of course, you know, any house project, you're on a tight time frame, and we have the timber frame coming in. We guesstimated, you know, that we'd do the foundation and, and gave us two weeks to do the fast wall. And, uh, and so now with this, you know, where we're at now, we're right on schedule. And I'm sure we would have been down three or four more days if we had a hand trowel. So, uh, yeah, great. I mean, yeah, like everything, you know, there's that learning curve, but it wasn't much of a learning curve. It didn't take long to, to get the mix. And, you know, the, the key part was to, to start right at the beginning with measurements and determine, oh, we need to change this formula, you know, get the recipe. Once we got the recipe right, you know, then it was smooth sailing. But it probably took us maybe two or three batches to kind of get the recipe right. Uh, but once we kind of documented what it was working, but also for this product, we really had to wet down the wall. And I'm not sure, you know, in other products that that's as much of an issue. But this, this porous product uh, just sucks up the water really bad. And if we didn't wet down the wall, uh, in fact, the first time we put one coat on, we didn't wet down the wall and it just sucked it up so fast it just didn't work. So anyway, we learned. They worked. And I think, I think they're almost done. So, woohoo! Oh.